Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this item is temporarily unavailable when you're trying to sign into the App Store and update or reload your operating system. You get this image. So if you've tried that and it doesn't work and you've tried signing in to iCloud and that doesn't work and if you've tried rebooting your system with option command R so you can go into recovery mode and that doesn't work what I suggest you do is get one of these USB bootable drives on eBay I'll put the link below the video where you can get it it's $17 I got it in like four or five days or you can also try to create your own um, bootable USB drive and I'll put a link below the video to the video that I watched on how to do that, which I couldn't get it to work, but when I put this in, it worked immediately. So I would just save yourself some time and frustration and get one. Um, put the links below the video on those. Let's get started. If you're like me, you've been having a lot of problems <laughs> trying to restore your MacBook. It's very frustrating. I cannot believe how difficult it really is. Finally, after all of these attempts, to reboot it and it was saying that um, sorry this is temporarily unavailable from the App Store or whatever I just broke down and bought a bootable USB stick okay All right I'm getting ready to boot up but if you're like me you're still gonna have problems and you got to go through all these forums and try to find the answers but I'm gonna show you how to do it right now okay this is it's a problem with the date and time and this is, I don't know if this applies to other operating systems, but it works for OS X El Capitan. All right, I'll put a link below the video where you can get this bootable stick on eBay. It's like $17, all right? So the link is in the description. We're gonna reboot. And I'll show you exactly how to boot from this, all right? So, power down. All right, now power back up, and as soon as you hear the sound, you've got to hold down the Alt key. And then on the screen, it's gonna ask you if you wanna restore it, or which drive you want to restore from. Choose the install disk from your USB drive, which is this one, and you're gonna get this screen. And it's gonna take a minute to load, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, now when you get to the choose language screen, just hit English and hit enter. And then you're gonna to get to this screen here. All right, so the first thing you have to do is go to disk utility, all right? Continue takes a second now when it loads up you got to go to your main hard drive and whatever is below it here you need to click erase and when you click erase name it Macintosh HD just like that okay and then make sure it says OSX Extended Journaled and hit Erase. And when you do that, it's going to rename it with what you put in here, Macintosh HD, okay? So whatever it says there, take that out and put Macintosh HD and make sure this is selected and hit Erase. Okay, that should say complete, hit Done to continue. All right, now over here below your hard drive, it says Macintosh HD. And you can see down here my install disk right there. That's my USB. Okay, now typically if you don't reset the date, this is what's going to happen when you go back to the install screen. You hit continue. takes a second all right
right? You get here and you hit continue and you agree and then you agree again. Now it says select the disk where you want to install OS X. All right. You would think you would click on this to install from here like in Windows, but no. You click on the Macintosh HD that you just created because when you rebooted, you already selected the USB drive to um, do your uh, reinstall or whatever, okay, your recovery. So this is where you want it to go and then you would hit install and then hit continue. Now, if you do not reset the date in your system, you're gonna get this error and it's gonna come up here in just a second. Right there. This copy of the install OS X El Capitan application can't be verified. It may have been corrupted or tampered with during downloading. So you hit OK. And when you get back to this screen, you go up to utilities, right? Click on terminal. And right here, this is what you're going to type in. All right. You're going to type in date space. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 6. And I'll put that below the video. So, all right, so you have it handy. And then you hit enter. And then it says, as it changes the date to Friday, January 1st, 101.00 Pacific Standard Time, 2016. Just hit the red X, go to terminal, quit it. All right, now go back to your install, hit continue. Continue, agree, agree, select that drive and hit install and continue. Now watch. All right, this is usually where it would mess up but look at that we got a progress bar it's actually installing it's actually installing on the computer finally after hours of trying to figure it out i'm finally getting osx el capitan to install on this computer man don't let somebody wipe the computer just have them delete everything off of it instead of wiping it when you buy it from them off of facebook or whatever make your life a lot easier. Holy smokes. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I know, uh, wow, I wish I could have found something like this because this was a, I went through like, I can't even tell you how many different pages to find this information. Wow. And I'm not, I've never used Mac, so I don't know all this stuff. But so if you're like me and you're switching over, this can be really frustrating. Anyways, uh, I put the link to the USB I am an eBay affiliate, so if you buy through my link, I make a commission. I have to disclaim that. And then also, um, and I do appreciate if you buy through me because that's just a way of saying thanks for making this video if it helped you. And then also the date that you want to put in, if you're um, in that utilities or the terminal, I'm going to put that down below the video as well so you can just use that for reference when you're typing it in on your new computer. All right, <laughs> hope this helps you out. I hope it gets you running. And uh, give me a thanks down in the comments below. All right, peace. Look, it says it has about a second remaining. Oh my gosh. It's finally restarting. Is it actually going to boot for real this time? Let's find out. Okay, so it's rebooted. Now it says it has about uh, 20 minutes remaining. Biscuit. Have they been outside today? Holy crap, it's on.
Wow. Oh, here we go. I love how this keyboard works. Or the keypad. TP-Link 5G. How do you want to transfer your information? Don't transfer any information. Should I enable location? So I can find it. Oh, wow. What? I agree. I gotta do all this. It's working. What? It's on. It's like fully on. Bang, bang. It works, guys.